Hello again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz 13 video. Last time around we showed how to use infinite analysis in Fritz 13 where you go to a board position such as the one right here which I found interesting because white has just played a non-book move. I'm wondering how black should best respond to this unexpected play. So we come up here to the home tab to infinite analysis and click on it and now we have Fritz 13 giving us information about this particular position. The best line of play along with some numerical values which we discussed in the previous video. This time around we're going to look at some other things you can do with the engine analysis pane. One of them is to get more than one line of play displayed here. This is the best line of play that Fritz has found, but what if you'd like to see the second best, the third best, the fourth best line of play, just to compare them, to compare their evaluations, for example. Just click this plus sign right here in the engine analysis pane. Each time you click it, you get an additional line of play. We're looking at the four best variations that Fritz has found, assuming best play for both sides in the in this variation and on down we notice that knight c6 bishop d6 are both reasonable alternatives for black now it's changed its mind now it looked a little bit deeper now it's knight c6 queen f6 and bishop d6 and it continuously updates as fritz looks deeper and deeper and deeper into a position it will update this information there are 45 possible moves in this position for black we could Click this plus sign until we had 45 lines of play displayed. And of course there is not enough room for all of them. We can use the little button over here to scroll up and down among them. However, every time that you add a line of play, it slows the process down even by just the tiniest amount. So you generally don't want to have more than a couple, three lines of play. Four is about as high as I generally go, but it's up to you. You can have more if you want to. Just understand that the more you display here, it does detract a little bit from the analysis speed of Fritz, even by the tiniest fraction. To remove lines of play, as we just saw, click the minus sign. Notice, too, that if you only have one line of play showing, you get a little bit more information in the engine analysis pane right here as far as the current depth, how long it took to find this particular move, the depth that it, it, it came to that decision at, and the number of positions that it looked at to reach that evaluation. If you bump up the number, you don't get all that information. Even, even if you scroll the whole way over here to the right, you won't see all of that. Notice, too, that every time you bump up or bump down the number of lines of play that it's showing, it starts all over again, starts from the beginning of its search. So don't do it indiscriminately because you just wind up making Fritz start its evaluation all over again. If you want to have Fritz show you what it's thinking as it's thinking, I'll show you what I mean by that. Let me stop infinite analysis for a moment. If you right click and select scroll main line, notice how it changes this view. We see what Fritz thought at a 15 ply search depth would be the best variation given best play for both sides. Then at a 16 ply search depth, we have the best line of play for both sides. And notice that some of the moves have changed. Fritz has changed its mind as it's looked deeper and deeper and deeper into the position. Same for depth of 17, depth of 18. Start infinite analysis again, it starts over again. And you can see how it's updating ply by ply showing you what it's thinking. How its thoughts on the best line of play changes, how, the, how this idea of what both sides should play, given best play, how that alters, how that changes, the deeper Fritz looks into a position. It will update every time a new ply level is reached. For example, here it's about to do it. It just started thinking about halfway through the 19th ply. It just gave us some more information here. It'll do it then every time it looks a half move deeper into the search. It'll give you an updated best line of play. It will also update it if it finds a better candidate move, a better initial move for the moving side. It will also update it if the evaluation, which right now is that white is ahead by 18 hundredths of a pawn, if this was to change really radically by a pawn or more, by something that happens way out there about 10 moves ahead, you would see this change as well. It would give you another line of play and a different evaluation here. If you want to go back to the normal display, just right click and unselect scroll main line and it goes back to it. 
People want to play through this variation. How do I play through it? Well, all you have to do is click, right click, and do variation board. This gives you a little chess board here where you can play through the moves. Forwards, backwards, jump to the end of the variation, jump to the beginning of the variation using these arrow buttons. The one on the far left jumps to the beginning of the variation, the one on the far right jumps to the end. The regular arrow buttons go back and forth through the variation one move at a time. To remove the variation board, right click, select variation board. Notice that we're analyzing position after White's seventh move. Now let's say I hit the right arrow key on the keyboard to make another move. Notice that infinite analysis always analyzes the position that's currently on the main chessboard off here to the left. Well, sometimes I may want to have it analyzing this position and continue to analyze this position while I go into other parts of the game and look at what actually happened. How do I freeze Fritz? How do I make it stay on this position as I look at other parts of the game? Well, you can do that. You can right click and select lock engine. Now Fritz will continue to analyze this position after White's seventh move, even as I step through the game. As you see, I'm making moves on the main chessboard, and Fritz is still continuing to look at what Black should do at his seventh move. Then if I go back to a different part of the game, like I get to 14, Queen takes E4, hmm, I wonder what Black should play here. All I have to do is right click, unlock the engine by selecting lock engine again, and Fritz immediately begins to analyze the current board position after White's 14th move. Now there's a couple different ways to play through the moves of a variation. One of them, as we've seen, is to go to variation board. There's another way. You can actually take the best line of play that Fritz has found, what's in the analysis window, and put it into the game notation. Just right click, select copy to notation, and there we are. Fritz 13, Here's what it thinks ought to be played, along with the evaluation given in blue. White, at the end of this line of play, at the end of this 24-move variation, white would be ahead by about a third of a pawn, and at the 18 shows that Fritz had done an 18-ply search to come to this conclusion. And if we click in that variation, we can use either the arrow buttons below the main chessboard, or we can use the cursor keys on the keyboard and play through that variation. Just a few additional engine analysis pane tweaks that you can have fun with in Fritz to get additional information beyond just the one line of play. You can get additional lines of play. You can get a variation board to play through the var best variation that it's found here, as well as lock an engine on a particular variation, plus drop the best variation into the notation pane. By the way, if you're going to save this variation, that's in the notation pane. When you exit the game, you'll lose this information. So if you want to keep it, if you find that variation valuable, just go to the File menu, select Save, and then Replace. And of course, you get your header information that you can change, and click OK, and then this will become a permanent part of the game. Till next time, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.